I'm really excited that we're back for more Dino Crisis. Joke from the last episode. Anyway. I'm letting him be excited here. for the two of us. <clears throat> Yay, enough to be excited. Well, we'll get some potential some lot some Lagaya episodes too. That's even better. Because that means that means more punching dudes. Um But uh yes, new set of recordings and Lee and I figured out stuff and where to go and what to deal with the Dr. Kirk situation, so we're gonna do it. Hopefully we can beat Dino Crisis today. We're pretty sure it's gonna do. Um, cause I think you said, what was it? An hour left in this game, give or take? Um, about that. Yeah, cause, uh, we got to a point where there was that weird third energy, like, bubble loop thing at the port, so the characters are stuck until they fix it. And there's still dinosaurs roaming around, because of course there are. But that's what the game is for. But there's enough poison darts to go around. I'm sure Regine is going to be just fine. But also, at time of recording, I've uploaded my last episode of Tales of Arise, so I can finally start doing other things. I swear that game took longer than it feels like. Because I'm so used to games taking, like, an, a month or two months. That one took three. But it was also because I beat it super early, because we did the Final Fantasy VII recordings, like, a month before we finished them. And it was like, it feels like forever since we beat that. It's because it was. It, it has been a long time. Yeah. So it was kind of the same vibe for me with Tales of Arise. It was like, I beat it like a month ago, and I'm like, whoa, what are we going to do? And I'm like, this, um, Persona, Okay, so now, Agaia, now it's been it's been days since we were playing, and now I don't remember what I was in the middle of trying to do. I think we're on to him. Yep. Get back here, you fuck! Damn it! Why are squirrely scientists so always so fast? We had been running so long in the last episode that I didn't just keep going, and don't move. Uh. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak! Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> You seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. I want to kill this guy. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there 
needs one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Well, hooray for A. And what? Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send the stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices that overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. But this contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. Your call then, Regina. I've got You're poison the darts. I'm fine. So what's your choice? Honestly, um, if I if I follow Gale's thing, then it's I just have to kill a bunch more dinosaurs. I think if I follow Rick's thing. I'm gonna have to do a puzzle walk that requires you to know different frequency sounds. Ew. Which isn't really as bad as it sounds, but... I suppose. I mean, look how long it took for that stupid, like, um... The panels, yeah. Yeah, the panels, yeah. Um, but then I'll also have to put the parts together myself. Which also isn't really that hard, but I think um, I think this time around I might just go with Gale's idea. I mean, it's Poison Dart City. It's not hard. Yeah, I know. And I know unless, that uh, I know that T Rex the T -Rex is running around there. too. Oh, but he will he will be immune to that shit. Yes, he will. Ah. Uh... So let's see which way do I want to do it. Um, let's flip a coin. Ales. Hey, Rick's idea? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going with Rick for once. Sorry, Gail. I also dropped my coin somewhere. I'll have to grab it. Okay, so... This means I have to go to the stabilizer and initializer design rooms. It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. Rick always gets or Gail always gets bent when you don't do it his way. Well, he 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 looks like he's got a stick up his ass. He kind of does. Um, oh wait, that's that's a door I can unlock. It's a shortcut now. Hey! I'm gonna go find that coin I forgot. One sec.
Okay. All right. Sorry. So this is a memo from Kirk about preparing the stabilizer and the initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. So stuff doesn't blow up. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Core oh. parts, protect part A, and protect part B. This means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room, the design room, and the part storage room. Once you've acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the experiment room. The weightless manipulator must be operated by staff of level A class. Six MacGuffins, here we go. Oh, hey, there's that door. Uh-huh. That door that was locked from the other side. Uh... This is the control room. I don't think I needed to come in here just yet. Um... No, I needed to go back. This door. That never gets old, does it? The dance. <laughs> A file of the messages from Dr. Kirk to the staff. They appear to have been distributed to each section prior to the experiment. Um... Oh, it's the same thing that I read in his lab. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You gotta move this. This is the, uh... A small wire tapping it device. It appears to have something recorded on it. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. It functions perfectly under nominal conditions, but... It's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? Once complete control can we will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. And it will all be attainable if you cooperate with me. The power of a god. How could I refuse? The combination of the beeping sounds at the end of the conversation is... That's what we gotta figure out. Oh. Um. And this is where we put it in. Planning disk is required to operate that terminal. <laughs> Um, let's see, I can't get into any of the safes right now, but over here is grenade gun parts. Hmm. <sighs> now I've got a custom grenade gun. 
Ay. I know what I could do. I'll blow up this entire building. That'll take care of the dinosaurs, I'm sure. And I'm gonna equip ammo for it. Oh, sweet <laughs> boy. It's called the Regina Custom. I've got a bigger gun than you. Gale and Rick are probably thinking, fuck! Okay, so... Yeah, there was like three or four different doors to security A level, so it's like... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Go through the door. Oh, yeah. not this. Oh, God. I just realized. Oh, uh, what? What? I... <sighs> yeah. What? That was. <clears throat> now that I've gotten to a certain part of the game, there's gonna be more things like that. <clears throat> I think there's one in here too, a level A door that I have to come into in here. This is where I put the parts together. Mm. <sighs> I was about to say, what is Regina doing behind that wall? I have but I no don't... idea. I'm trying to come over here. It's used to make adjustments for the machines that handle the parts assembly. Hmm. Regina's looking at all of it going, I just want to shoot it. No, nah, that'd be more Gale's thing. That would be more Gale's thing. Yeah. Rick would be like, oh, I can do all this. Shut up, Rick. Um... I kind of like Gale more than Rick, though. It's just the simplicity of, hey, let's just kill things. There's something nice about that. Yeah, but you don't know Gale's secret. He's a douchebag? Not that secret. Oh. He's secretly Dr. Kirk's dad? No, are you kidding? I... Knowing some of these Japanese games, they, they've gone in weirder directions before. T to be fair, outside of the warp energy weirdness, this hasn't gone that crazy. No, yet. not... Okay, Dino Crisis, the, the first, this one, is actually pretty normal when you hold up number two. Okay. Against it. <laughs> Well, I'll make sure to read up on on that stuff later because because that was the same vibe for Metal Gear Solid One. It's like outside of like all of the weirdness near the end, it was like relatively grounded. Um. Well, in, then the second and the third ones went nuts, and then of course four and five went nuts. In Dino Crisis Two, the time travel is just kind of um, expanded on a little bit more. Oh boy, time travel! That never gets weird. Because, you know, we're successful, we get all the third energy data and everything back. Ah! Ow! Stupid. His tail's as big as his room, it's not fair. I know. Um... I have to activate the generator first, so I can't go downstairs. I can only stay up here since I chose Rick's idea. Mm -hmm. 
Which means I need to find that freaking planning disc. Give me the planning disc already. Ow. I should have it. Because there were some rooms where it's like you need the planning disc to... Oh my god. I've got to go into my freaking inventory and select the goddamn planning disc. I hate that. Uh, I hate that I, I keep forgetting I have to do that. I, I complained about this with the Metal Gear thing. And I think <sighs> you have to actually physically open the menus to open the thing. Disc. Okay, so the first room, it's in here. Okay. This terminal I was at to try to freaking. Oh my god. Part story. Landing disc. Okay, so. I don't remember the code. Let me see. See one that says three six seven two zero four. Um, wait a minute. You said three six seven two zero four. I mean, that's the only... I, I think that's for both of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And then... Oh, then it goes... What? Oh. According to this file, you need to split the number down the middle, add a zero to the beginning, so you end up with two codes. Okay. Okay, so 360... And then 204... Okay, that means I need to take it into another room. So it'll be three... Yeah, I, I see what you're doing. Alright. So... Okay, right now I've got I've got core parts one and two. Okay. Yeah, and then it says protect parts one B, one A, two A, two B. Okay. Yep. That's for the other okay. Yeah, cool. Hey, ready for guides! <laughs> We're totally cheating the system. I don't care. I know, right? Alright, so let's see. Um <laughs> look, if I ever get around to playing uh, like to be fair, like this is not unprecedented for my channel. If anybody wonders how I got through Phoenix Wright the entire time on schedule, it's because I had a step-by-step -step guide through the trials to almost never fuck up. So, I have no shame. I do not care. I am totally okay with games like this. I'm not a puzzle person, to be honest. Like, puzzles are fine, but, um, like, I remember it was like three or four weeks ago, we were doing a, a one shot. A player came up with a, it was like a newspaper clipping puzzle. You're supposed to do stuff. And we're just sitting there for like 30 minutes trying to piece together what words and what phrases meant something. And uh -huh. most of us were just off track. So we spent like 10 minutes just trying to figure it out. We were lucky we finished the session on time. 
because we still had a fight combat to do, and those take like half an hour, right? Oh. To an hour. So we're just like, fuck. Okay, and then the DM is just like, all right, I'll, I'll kind of give you a hint. It's like, I, I am an idiot. I, I do not do high level thinking. I am not a puzzle person. I don't like unless it's like the color puzzles from those like coil things. Like I do, I just don't like do higher level thinking, and I don't like. Oh, here's a cool idea you can do with like messing with you know like illusion magic or something for another D and D reference. It's like use this to mess around with the arena to come up with a new look or a new feel to trick an enemy. I want to kill a dude. Let me uh -huh. stab a dude. That doesn't take a lot of thought. We chose Rick's plan because the dice roll or the or the coin roll said as much, but if it's going to help us get through this area, I don't care about figuring out what numbers do what. Because it's going to save time in the long run. Uh-huh. Like it's not the guy that's the problem. I'm trying no, to... it's it's. I'm trying to remember uh, yeah. where the I'm trying to remember where all the protect parts are. Yeah. Um. They said design stabilizer room and then design experiment room. Like that. I think I know where those are. Yeah. Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me. How did you get in here? I'm a dinosaur, I can do what I want. Ah! You came in from the passageway to the personal lab. I thought we locked it. Ooh. Then again, knowing these things, I bet all you gotta do is bang on the door enough and it'll open. Um, okay. This way goes back out to the third energy area. And then we just come this way. I'm just being cautious since that thing fucking snuck up on me like that. Okay, I know I just went in a big circle. I don't care. Okay, this was part storage. We just came in here and did this puzzle. Now, this way... leads back to that hallway. Please don't let there be raptors in here again. This is a stabilizer experiment room. Okay. So there's definitely something in here. Or at least there should be. Yeah, there should be. This is the, um... See, this is where we put the stabilizer and the and the initializer together, over here. Um. Let me check something. I know there's another stabilizer design room. Let's see. That's back in the. Let me check the other level C door. Yeah, it looks like a one of the one of the parts is actually in the stabilizer experiment room before you do the experiment. Okay, this is where we need the codes. So okay. I think the first one you gave me was zero three six seven. Ink.
I got protect part 1B. Oh, wow. I got Protect Part 1A and 2A. Okay, so the last one I think is in that stabilizer room. It should be. It should be over here. Which one did you just say you needed? I'm literally just missing 2B now. To be is I've got core, room. I've got core parts one and two, and I've got pro, I've got protect parts one and two A, and I have okay. co, pro, I have protect part one B. So I have everything I need for part one. I just need um, yeah. I need two B. Stabilization room. Once inside, turn right. Make your way to the small door to the end of the room. And turn so it's, right to use the planning disc. So it's in the stabilizer experiment room? Yeah. So apparently you get that and then you do the thing. Yeah, so you get that and then you move to a different console to do the experiment. Okay. So, hooray for planning disc. It's been our friend all along. Um, well, this is the... Yeah. Is it might be somewhere. It's gotta be this. Alright, let's see. Okay, so it's not that terminal, but this... I think this is the protect part I need. There we go. Die. Hooray for having no shame! Saved us probably 15 minutes. Or okay, more. and then we come down here. Yay. Oh. Will you assemble the parts you have? Okay. Assemble the stabilizer. And assemble the initializer. Oh shit. God damn Blech. it. Granola was lost in space forever. Yes, I will try again. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh. See, this is what <laughs> I hate this part. <laughs> At least, at least you don't lose the parts and have to go find them again. No, you just have to sit here and be like really fucking technical with it. <sighs> it's ping pong with chemicals. Right? Oh my god! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> you... Oh my god! Fuck you! I get salty when video games mess with me. 
I wish it would come in from the same spot every time. That's what I think is annoying. That's the, and that's the, it's so damn annoying. You have no, oh my god. <sighs> Whoa. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Ugh. Goddamn son of a bitch, motherfucking piece of <laughs> shit parts. Oh my god. Next time I don't give a shit what the coin says, I'm gonna just face the fucking T-Rex. Sounds like a good plan. <sighs> this is reminding me of the hedgehog pie in Final Fantasy IX. This is dumb. Ah! Finally! Okay, game, you suck. Whoever designed this puzzle can suck. I hate this fucking shit. I'm, do I'm saying this for Lee because she was the one having to force herself to do this shit because I rolled a fucking coin. I'm responsible for that bullshit. I would... Uh, uh, it doesn't look so dumb. <sighs> but we saw it will cheat. That's the problem. It fucking cheated. That one time it just had both of them come in at like two seconds. That was cheaper than the bullshit you'll find in a Chinese soup in a Chinese flea market. Oh. Okay. So any more annoying puzzles that, that are in this path? Cause I'm 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 really considering strangling Rick off camera. Um, you're not the only one. <sighs> okay, so, um... Weird noises there. Um... Um... But, yes. Um... Wait, this door. I, I, I was right, this door. Yes. Just from a, uh viewing perspective, just an outsider's perspective, go with Gale's path. Oh. <sighs> At least for some things. Like, there are moments when Rick's path is actually a better idea. Because you're going to end up doing his shit anyway at some point. Yeah, like the first path. Yeah, like the, the first path where you have to either where you have to decide whether you're going to go after Tom or not. It's it's and, actually and, a pretty a pretty good idea to go ahead and go after Tom. Yeah, and to be fair, I think what they're doing was giving options of, hey, we don't want to use all our bullets, so here's another. I mean, that in and of itself isn't a terrible idea. But exactly. Design your puzzles better. Right. Fuck. Okay, so, so like, up here, I think we set the initializer. Press their button. Certain preparations have to be made before pushing the switch. You know what? Fuck no. your preparations, asshole. Uh. <laughs> what? I want to whack technology with something sharp. Uh. Can I? Can I break the machines? When we're done recording. I don't think I've ever felt my soul get crushed quite this badly playing this game. Uh, it has never taken me that many times to put the fucking initializer and stabilizer together. Never! I want, I want to say a lot of it probably had to do with being on OBS. I've noticed a delay. I'm not looking stuff. at OBS. Oh, you're looking. Oh, okay, then that's. I'm looking at the actual game window. Oh, oh shit. You're looking know, at o like... You're well. You're looking at Discord, but. Yes, but but it, it's like, God. Ugh. Here, take your fucking preparation procedure and 
slather some preparation H on it before I shove it up your ass. I'm like, at this point in the game, I am so fed up with third energy and all this fucking technology. I want to just start busting machines up. I know there's something I gotta do, and I'm probably in the wrong spot to do it. So... Okay, it's not here, because I was just here. technology I hate games that are <clears throat> I get what they're doing this ugh <laughs> Don't smoke at me game Just because I went <laughs> at you like I'm the only one who should be that steamed yeah I know. I'm talking- I'm making a joke about the steam. Oh, I, I accidentally turned it down, I didn't hear the joke. I said I'm the only one who should be that steamed. Oh. Yeah, it was a bad joke. That's the joke. Yay. Press this button to go and press this button to go press that button and go press this one and go down there! You still suck technology. I know. I'm at the point now where I just wish Dr. Kirk's mother had put him up for adoption. Oh! What, what's saying she didn't? Well, then that's the only time I've ever seen the orphanage system actually work for somebody. And I wish it hadn't. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Remember, there's no turning back once it overlays. Then we won't look back. Crank that sucker and let's go out with a boom. <laughs> boom. I love how he's like, crank that sucker and let's go out with a boom.
don't bother me. <laughs> okay. Just get Kirk. Hurry. Take it easy, Gail. Ow. Take this. Tagged him with transmitter. Ugh. Gail. Gail. Oh, shit. Um. Uh-oh. All right. The overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. Gail. What happened to him? I don't know, but Kirk's gone. I'm gonna kill him! Uh. Oh shit! This is it. All that's left is our escape. Is there a timer? No. What about Kirk? What about it? It's a miracle we're still alive at this point. Forget about it. Don't forget the mission. You're not here to babysit. Sorry, but I have a conscience. I'm taking you back now. No, you two get going. I'm going after Kirk. What? You're insane. Don't you remember our situation? The third energy can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide. I know. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, you two make your escape without me. Hey, do something! Kirk must be after the stabilizer. Why did you let him go? I'm finally beginning to understand him. He's a professional, first and foremost. It's the only way he operates. You're right. And it's up to me to do my part as well. I'll make sure everything's ready to go as soon as you get back. Okay, so... Where I'm... This is a save point, by the way. Okay. So we, I can, I can actually, um, I can shoot, I can go ahead and save now. Okay. Sounds like a good plan because of that stupid puzzle. And then we can go ahead and finish the game for the next episode. Uh, fuck you, stupid stabilizer puzzle. Right? Never have to see you again. Okay. So, go ahead. Right. It'll be the next episode, the last episode. Dr. Root, Kirk's gonna get his ass kicked. And maybe that T-Rex, too. Everybody's gonna survive, I guarantee it. See you guys next time.